when it comes to the animal kingdom. Cats are remarkable parents. When a cat adopted a tiger cub, she did an incredible job. But several years later, something unexpected happened to everyone's surprise. Arthur was someone who enjoyed camping. He frequently ventured from his home in a small town in Russia to nearby mountains, where he'd set up camp and spend a few days in the wilderness. Camping was not only an enjoyable activity for him but also an opportunity to have some solitary time away from the stress of city work. However, one day, during one of his camping trips, something incredibly unusual happened that forever altered Arthur's life trajectory. But what was it, watch the full video to find out. As he sat by a small fire outside his tent, reading a book, Arthur heard a whimpering, sharp cry. Having spent a long time in these mountains, he had never heard such a sound before. Understandably, he was curious and intrigued about its source. Setting the book aside, he cautiously moved in the direction of the sound. The noise was difficult to pinpoint and determine due to the trees muffling it. But finally, Arthur rounded a bend and saw something that left him astonished, two tiger cubs lying on the ground in front of him. They were only a few weeks old and looked incredibly helpless and vulnerable. Arthur, being a cat lover, immediately thought of taking them to a safe place, but he knew that their mother must be somewhere around, either fetching food or closely watching them nearby. Nevertheless, Arthur left the cubs in place though he kept coming back to check on them. When no one came for the tiger cubs and there seemed to be no sign of their mother, he knew he had to take action. So, he packed up his camping gear and took hold of the two mewing tiger cubs. He would take them home and care for them himself. Driving back home, Arthur found his cat ready to greet him. She was a beautiful cat that had given birth to several litters of kittens. Arthur loved his cat wholeheartedly, stroking her to help unwind after long and busy days. But when the cat saw the two tiger cubs, she became instantly curious, gazing at them in bewilderment. She wondered where they came from and why they were there. Watching Arthur feed the mewing kittens pieces of meat and a whole bowl of milk, the cat moved closer to the tiger cubs and began licking them. Though the tiger cubs were as big as the cat, she knew they were kittens and needed care. Almost as if her motherly instincts were triggered, she slipped into the role of a tiger mom. Over the next few weeks, the tiger cubs grew stronger and healthier. Their weights increased, and they started having more energy. The cat cared for them, and the kittens followed suit as if they had accepted their new mother's role. The cat encouraged them to eat, run, and play. Time passed, and the tigers began to grow. Physically, they grew longer, taller, and heavier than the cat. But she treated them as her own kittens. If they got too rough during play or fought, the cat would intervene, disciplining them but with an apologetic look. The tiger cubs were sent in two different directions. It was truly miraculous when Arthur saw his tiny cat absolutely ruling over the two immense tigers. And he chuckled. Unfortunately, the day arrived when the tigers became too large to live with Arthur. They posed a significant challenge, often damaging things in the house. It wasn't intentional. But caring for the two animals also cost Arthur a considerable amount of money. So, he decided to take them to the local zoo, requesting them to care for the tigers. From then on, he would visit them. Fortunately, the zoo was more than willing to accept the tigers. They built a beautiful, large enclosure where the tigers could play in an environment suitable for their nature. There was even a massive organic glass window through which visitors could watch their antics. After bidding farewell to the tigers, 
Arthur handed them over to capable zoo staff. He had done all he could and vowed never to return to the zoo to avoid feeling guilty about leaving the cubs behind. This vow he upheld for several years. However, many years later, the cat fell ill. And Arthur took her to the vet. The vet advised him that it would be best to put her down. Sadly, Arthur agreed. But he wanted to do one thing first give the cat a final treat. So, he went to the zoo. Unsure of what he would find there, he placed the cat in a carrier and, taking her through the gates, arrived at the tiger enclosure where he immediately recognized the two tigers he had rescued years ago before they saw him through the organic glass window. Uncertain if they remembered him, he extended his hand to the window as if to stroke one of them. The tigers looked at Arthur's hand and then turned away. As if he were just another of the countless other humans who visited them daily. Entirely unfamiliar to them. Convinced they wouldn't remember him. He withdrew his hand as they walked away. But something incredible was about to happen. Something unbelievable occurred. When they saw Arthur picking up his cat to show the tigers. The two tigers instantly leaped onto the glass. Affectionately gazing at her and rolling on the floor. They unmistakably remembered the cat. The animal that had nurtured and protected them back then. The cat evidently recognized them too. Arthur couldn't fathom how this was possible. Given how much the tigers had grown since their separation. But the cat knew these two colossal beasts were her children. Perhaps it was the scent or some other instinct that we could never truly understand. The cat rubbed her little body against the window. Looking at the tigers. And in return. They tried to nuzzle against their. Mom. It was an incredibly heartwarming encounter. Melting the hearts of all present. It just goes to show that love is love. Transcending species boundaries. Leaving a lasting impact on everyone involved. For that brief moment. Everything in the world was just fine. Let. S. Continue. Jimbo is one of 11 bears living at the couple's non-profit Orphan Wildlife Center. One of them, Frankie, was born in the wild and arrived here in 2012 after being hit by a car. The rest of the bears were born in captivity. Jimbo, from a farm on the west coast, had a broken leg. There are plenty of wildlife rehabilitation centers and other centers that care for bears. But Qualsic has drawn attention for its hands-on approach. An online video of him playing with Jimbo has more than 16 million views. Qualsic describes it as natural as petting your dog. He said the bears were like his children and they never hurt him. The couple have been working together to help rehabilitate squirrels. Ducks. Deer mink and other animals since the early 1990s. The main goal is to release animals. But the bears here cannot be released because they are injured. Or they are too used to captivity. The bear is of ancestry to 57-year-old Susan Qualsic. Her father, Albert Ricks, was a well-known circus veteran from Germany who raised Syrian round bears. A troop of African lions and world-renowned lion whisperer Kevin Richardson have become the unexpected stars of Mercedes-Benz' glossy ad campaign. A majestic animal climbs onto the hood of a Mercedes SUV in a stunning set of photos. And in the playful set of pictures. Another two wrestle with Mr. Richardson at a game reserve in Pretoria, South Africa. But the images captured by photographer Adrian Stern have a serious message. They are used to raise awareness of the plight of animals in Africa. Kevin says on his website that the lion's range has decreased by 90% over the past 100 years. Scientists predict that by 2050 there will be no wild lions in the wild. Given these shocking statistics, Kevin knew wild lion populations needed our help. That's why he started the Kevin Richardson Foundation. Unfortunately, Many people around the globe insist on owning exotic pets. Instead of treating these creatures as free wild animals. 
these owners treat them as regular pets, often with disastrous results. However, an exotic pet owner in Brazil has drawn some controversy for owning wild animals. While he thought there was nothing wrong with that, it was what the man had these dangerous creatures doing around his family that really pissed people off. It is widely believed that tigers are dangerous animals that should not be underestimated. They are predators after all. And even if they don't attack humans specifically, they can easily tear people to pieces. Eris is a resident of Brazil and he is a tiger. S super fan. It all started in 2005 when he rescued two tigers from a circus where they were said to have been horribly mistreated. Many circuses have a controversial history with their treatment of animals. So in many ways Eris did save their lives. Over the years, he rescued more tigers and eventually made room for seven of them on his land. However, this is only part of the story. Although Eris built a large enclosure for tigers in the backyard of his home, he soon began allowing the huge and dangerous big cats into his house and around his family. Despite the dangers, Eris' three daughters never panicked, and they were used to living with tigers from the first day their father welcomed these exotic pets. In fact, despite what some say is negligent and risky, Eris believes the tiger will get along well with the whole family. I never worried about my daughter coexisting with these animals. Eris said. For him. Maintaining a good relationship with tigers. Like any other animal. Comes down to one simple principle. You must show respect and love to animals. Indeed. Not only did the family keep tigers at home like other people have cats and dogs. But they didn't seem to show any fear. That's not to say his family didn't take huge risks every day. Tigers are not domesticated. So they are difficult to predict even for those who trust them. While most experts and nearly everyone with common sense agree that this lifestyle is terribly unwise. The family has so far managed to ignore most of the criticism. The tale, which has been passed down through generations in North America began in a small village in northern New Mexico in the late 1800s. Farmers found themselves in trouble after wolves began attacking livestock that grazed the plains and mountains near the village. The wolf pack consisted of only two adults and three pups. When the wolf was badly wounded, his mother appeared to have died among the pack of wolves that tried to harm him. And he was found by the woman who was traveling in the forest when he was only three months old and she raised and took care of him. Grandfather Raymond lives alone in the village after the death of his wife Elena. His children left and they married and never visited him again. Grandpa has only one black dog, Shupa, who is a loyal and good friend. One day, Grandpa and the dog went to the forest to pick mushrooms as usual, but found a little wolf on the way. Grandpa is surprised that the wolf didn't escape, but realizes that the wolf was only born and has obviously lost its mother. Raymond loved animals so much that he decided to take the poor animal home and care for it until it became an adult wolf. When he came home, he found that the little wolf was very hungry and hadn't eaten for a long time. Grandpa gave food to the wolf and built a small house next to the dog house. He calls it Sam. After six months, the wolf had grown, which led Raymond to return him to the forest. The wolf disappeared and did not reappear for seven months. In the fall, Grandpa went out into the yard and saw Sam lying in front of his house. He hugged it, but was surprised when he noticed that he had brought a basket covered with a white blanket. Grandpa opened the basket and he was surprised to find a newborn baby inside. The little one is very nice and quiet. Grandpa brought the little boy home. He bought him some milk. And spent most of his time tending to the poor child. The grandfather thought of his grandchildren who hadn't come to see him for ten years and wished they would come to see him so he could enjoy his time with them. Over time, Raymond feels guilty as he realizes that the boy's heartbroken mother may have been looking for him. 
he wanted to contact his mother. But as he got used to the little boy, he couldn't leave him. He spends most of his day with his children. Grandpa was considering adopting the little boy, but realized he wouldn't be allowed to adopt a little boy that age. Especially since he was an old man. Grandpa is annoyed at what he has done. He left the little boy at home. He was up all night with guilt and considered taking the little one to call the police when he woke up in the morning. Grandpa got up early in the morning to go to the police station. In the kitchen. He heard a knock on the door. When Raymond opened the door. He found a very beautiful young woman. When he looked into her eyes. She thought of his wife. Grandpa has been carefully watching the young woman. Who is exhausted with a bag in her hand. He finally recognized her as his granddaughter Martha. Daughter of his eldest son whom he hasn't seen in ten years. He hugged his granddaughter emotionally and invited her inside. Grandfather had last seen Martha when she was eleven years old. And she was a grown girl now. While the grandfather was talking to his granddaughter and asking her about his son and other family members. Maxie cried. The grandfather hurriedly comforted him and then went back to continue talking to his granddaughter. Martha asked her grandfather about the crying baby. And he told her the story. The young woman was very worried and asked her grandfather to allow her to meet the little boy. It turned out that Martha was visiting her grandfather Raymond. And she fell asleep on the way. When she woke up, she found that her son was missing. She spent two whole days looking for him in the neighboring village. When she loses hope of finding him, she decides to visit her grandfather before heading back to town. But she was surprised when she found her son with her grandpa. Two days later, my grandfather died of a sudden heart attack. The sad wolf is gone. But a few months later, he came back. Martha has settled here. And he decided to keep guarding them.